Good morning, friends. Welcome back. <laughs> the pizza's dry, so now I can talk. Um, I hope you enjoyed the song that I played that was called Mirrorage, uh, something I wrote a while ago and thought would be appropriate for this this uh, video. So uh, what I'm doing now is now that the, the wash that I laid down is dry, I can begin just drawing right on top of it. Uh, I have no pre-planned sketch for this. This is just straight doodling, so anything goes with this and that's the great uh, that's the great part of this kind of a, a drawing is that um, you know you just have the uh, the wash already there ready to go sometimes what I'll do is I'll just paint these washes uh, ahead of time just lay down some colors just random patterns um, sometimes I'll mix the colors so you will have a little bit of orange that goes into a blue color or purple with yellow or reds and greens whatever anything you like it's your choice. There's a million different options for this, so whatever you like. Here I'm just doing this sort of, <laughs> I don't even know what it is. It's like a cat-like creature. You know, it's, uh, it's that part of the drawing experience that, that I talk about endlessly, which is that zen kind of thing. It's about 6 in the morning right now. I've been up starting this. I got up around 5-ish, I guess, and just prepared everything, so... Now it's just taking me, you know, the, the longest part of this whole process was waiting for things to dry. Literally just went and made coffee while it, it dried and it took maybe about, I don't know, 15 or 20 minutes for that to dry. The drawing part is the easy part because that's where I just kind of lose myself and I just kind of let it flow and just let it happen. And there's no right or wrong. I could make mistakes. You know, there's things in this that I might do differently this time, you know, I might I might do something now and I might do a different a different time. The way that mouth is, I might not make that mouth so arched, you know, up on the uh, the right side next time. But this is fine. I just I'm I'm very happy with the way this is going and you know, there's nothing here that's making me uh regret any decisions that I've made up to this point in the drawing. It's just a doodle, it's just for fun and it's just for me. So you know, this is just uh, keeping my hand in practice. Like when you work out and you do certain exercises, it's called muscle memory. Well, you have muscle memory in your, your hand-eye coordination and with the way you move a pen. So the more you draw, the more you paint, obviously the better adjusted your hand becomes with uh, the motions of painting and drawing. If you just pick up a pen for the first time to doodle, you know, I'm not talking about like sitting while you're on the phone just doodling. I'm talking about actually thinking about it. Then uh, chances are you're not going to, uh, you know, you're not going to come up with something really groundbreaking. But if you s sit down and you, you spend time with it daily or, you know, on a regular basis, you're going to develop a certain pattern of movements and your hand will, you know, become accustomed to that. And that's kind of where I'm at. You know, this for me is just having fun. You know, some people will read a magazine in the morning or the newspaper. I read my websites, you know, uh, later in the morning when I'm, <laughs> once the coffee's kicked in. But uh, this is just, this is my unclog the brain, you know, after sleeping for eight hours or so. And the decisions I'm making are purely based on impulse. I mean, there's some in you know, intention there. There's some real, you know, knowledge behind it of what's going to happen when I do it. But for the most part, this is all experimentation. I apply this technique to not just doodles, but also, you know, you can, you can do it for fine art. You can do it for whatever you like. And you don't have to do it in this, this process. There's other processes to do it. Um, for example, you can do the drawing first, like I'm using Sharpie, so it's like permanent. And you can put the wash on after if you like. So it doesn't have to be this process. It's whatever you like. This is just a suggestion on how to do it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope um, 
maybe there was something you picked up from this and uh you know come back and uh check it again and we'll have another video up soon and i'd love to hear back so if you have comments or feedback or thoughts throw them down there i'd love to hear it i, I love to learn from you as much as if if you're learning from me so um Thank you again so much for watching, and uh, I hope you have a great day filled with creativity, because that's what life's about. Take care.